when the Dawa thugs encouraged you to vote for Biden in the last elections, they scammed you. And if it was money they scammed you out of, it would be easy. Wouldn't be a big deal. But they swindled you out of your deen. They encouraged you to vote for Biden. And now that the Gaza cause is popular, they want to be the Malcolm X's of the Palestinian cause. The Da'wa thugs hoodwinked you in the Holy of Holies. Your deen. They hoodwinked you when they told you to go vote. And some of those bandits even considered it wajib. When there's elections and I'm, I'm able to write or speak over the past 30 years or so, I always take the opportunity to deter Muslims from it and warn them of its danger. In the most recent presidential election for Biden, I said, and it's documented, this was before the war on Gaza. I said, aside from the main issue and what really matters, in that voting goes against the essence of Tawheed. I said, aside from that, you're voting for someone whose hands are dripping with the blood of Muslims. Biden's a terrorist. Your vote helped put a terrorist in position. No one forced you to the ballots. You've seen that senile Fir'aun of our time. He lost his mind of everything except his loyalty and support. To the Yahudi occupiers. Where. Where are those bandits? Where are they? The ones who told you to go vote for him. So your voice can be heard. Where are they today? Is your voice being heard. In stopping the genocide in Gaza? Or are you a participant in that war. By voting. For a Fir'aun whom you help put in power with your vote? Are the missiles in the financing, in the political support, and even the foot soldiers that went from the USA to Palestine to support the Gaza genocide stopping? The US is more to blame for the genocide in Palestine than the occupying Yahud. You need to understand that. Netanyahu is no more than a dog for Biden. Just like the Arab leaders are dogs for Netanyahu. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's be frank and clear. Let this genocide that tore the hearts of the Ummah be a aqidah awakening. Let us learn the true meaning of Izzah. Honor. And how Izzah and victory are truly attained. Let us learn how genocides like these are prevented and stopped. There was once upon a time in our glorious past where no one would ever dare and harm a single Muslim, even if he was in the lands of the enemy.